gonna pull that two ninety nine off for me? That way, I'm not a sticker picker. Sticker picker. I, I wonder. enjoying my coffee while I am editing out here this morning. It is Thursday, July 20th, and I now only have eight days until I move. <laughs> they moved my moving day up one day because by the time I booked it, the 29th was full. So now we're moving next Friday, the 28th. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much. I had an amazing moving sale, y'all. 59 orders during that sale. It is insane. So today I'm going to be working on getting those orders all pulled and ready for shipping tomorrow. But here is the past couple of days worth of work. It's just been a ton of tedious little things at finishing packing up. I absolutely love this thrifted piece. It's came with me to a few different houses now. And uh, I took a little bit of apothecary paint and did a dry brush over the words that really helped those words pop. I want to make sure I leave this house in great condition. My landlords have been lovely and let me decorate the way I wanted to. So as I'm taking things down, I am filling in holes and I'll use some touch-up paint they gave me just to cover up my old screw holes. Beautiful, beautiful ceiling tin. These pieces are coming with me as well. Now, I know a lot of y'all have asked, why Independence, Missouri? Why are you going to Missouri? So there are several reasons. And I just wanted to take a little screen recording of a map to kind of show you the area. I have grown up here in Topeka. I've moved away a couple of times and moved back, but I've lived here most of my life. Now, as you travel east on I-70, there's a little town about 30 minutes away called Lawrence, Kansas, and that's where Kansas University is. But if you continue to travel east on 70, you will hit the big city of Kansas City. Now there's Kansas City, Kansas, and there's also Kansas City, Missouri, as it sits right on the state border. You go a bit further east and you will run into Independence. Y'all have seen me go up to Kansas City a million times and go shopping with Sammy. I love the city. It's got so much opportunity. Now, usually we shop in the Shawnee area, Mission, um, Olathe, Overland Park, kind of over on the Kansas side. But I will be doing much more adventuring now on the Missouri side. I'm really pleased with myself. I have not really had to pack up much as I don't have a lot of excess decor and clutter right now. So I'm proud of myself for that one. As I pack up my kitchen and living room, I do kind of downsize just a bit. A few pieces went to donate or onto my website, but for the most part, this stuff is coming with me. Now I'm also wanting to open up a shop someday. You know, I've had a booth before. I loved my booth. Staging is one of my very favorite parts of this job, but I don't foresee myself having a store or a shop here in Topeka, Kansas. There is much more business opportunity um, in the Kansas City and Missouri area. So that is kind of the, the short term plan here over the next three to five years. They're going to be showing this current house I'm renting on Friday, and although I am obviously not trying to rent or sell it myself, I do want it to look nice. Um, we had quite the storm come through here last week, and I am just now getting to picking up some of these smaller sticks. I've just been so busy with packing that I've just been driving past and looking at these every day. <laughs> Also, I do love change. I'm ready for a new fresh start and a new town, new friends, new places, new shopping. It is scary, but you know, if you are not challenging yourself and stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit, are you even really growing? Well, 
My yard work just got rained out. It's all right. I got the big stuff with that. Well, looks like I ended up at the thrift store. <laughs> this headboard is $5 and it for sure came home with me. When you are supposed to be packing, but you come for thrifting therapy instead. It's fine. That's plastic, but it's really cute. Oh, look at these salt and pepper shakers. The kitchen things, y'all. If I wasn't moving, I don't want to move a bunch of glass. Ooh, the box supply has not been good. Usually this room is full, so of course that's my luck, but I'm going to grab what I can real quick. See, I know I just said no glass, but that was ceramic. This is glass. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Look at this apothecary chair, y'all. I cannot believe it. It says vitamins right on it. I wish it had a lid, but no worries. I'll be able to find something for it eventually. It seems really thick. Do y'all think that was actually old? And then since I got one piece, I might as well get the other piece. That second one didn't have a lid either. So many cute baskets. And look, here's a broom. $4. I think that one's really good for fall, that dark color. This one's really sweet and that one's crazy, but I don't need too many baskets right now. So they're gonna, they're gonna stay behind. Love vintage ice cream scoops for summer vignettes. Put them next to an old ice cream maker. So cute. And I know we're coming towards the end of summer, but that one was very unique with the white plastic handle. So I went ahead and grabbed it. My friend Jamie has been buying dolls and it looks like selling them, but y'all, I cannot bring myself to bring these home. <laughs> I just feel like they come with um, extra spirits or something attached. Look how fun this door wall is. They constructed it out of many, many old doors. This is usually where some fun old chairs and furniture pieces are. And uh, I was shopping this day. Everybody was talking to me. I love this store. The employees deal with me and put up with me. There's so much fun here. I'm definitely going to miss it, but I will be back. I will come by the Giving Tree when I'm in town for sure. I loved this cake pan with the beehives, but I looked it up online and they were asking as much as it is on eBay. So there was really no resale value in it for me. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't grab this lamp again. I'm trying not to buy a bunch of stuff right before I move. I've already got my quote from the moving company, but it was like a replica salvage piece and it lit up from behind. It would have been so pretty up on top of a piece of furniture. Only found one book this day, but I went ahead and grabbed it up. It was a black cover with some great textured pages, $1.75 for the books here. Found a couple more cookie molds, but I passed on those because they have slowed down in sales a bit. Always check out the mason jars while I'm here as well, but no. I loved this wagon, but at $25, it was way overpriced, especially with the damage on the handle. I always check the floral section when I'm at the thrift store. I found this little pot. It had a $2.99 sticker and a $0.99 cent sticker, but fortunately, there was an employee right next to me. Hey, you work here. $2.99, cents. <laughs> $2.99. You gonna pull that $2.99 off for me? That way I'm not a sticker picker. I wonder if they I discounted wonder. it when it lost some floral or something, maybe? Mm, I'm not sure. You were the best. I love the color. I don't love the grapes. I've had a few of these and sold them, but no more clutter before the move. I'm trying to be selective today. <laughs> oh, speaking of being selective, look what I just found. <laughs> oh my gosh, 99 cents, so I can't pass up a unicorn item. 
I totally missed the cat jack-o'-lanterns at the top. I am sad that I didn't see those or I would have picked them up. I have so many cat lovers. Maybe they'll be there again today when I check for boxes. Let's go ahead and get these items home. I need to clear out some space in my living room before it gets too cluttered and then I will lay it all out in the kitchen. So this will be like the fourth time I've moved in two years. That's no secret. I'm getting really good and efficient at it. <laughs> I've decided to go ahead and box up all my clothing since I'm having a moving company come in. Sometimes I throw it in bags. I'm not going to lie. I even taped up my hangers and put them in large plastic bags. That way they would not get tangled. It's going to make this move much more efficient. I went ahead and picked up these two old letter holders. I know they're a little outdated, but I just love them. They were only $3 each, so I took a risk. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think about these. This one is like burned in, so I love it. This one, maybe I'll get a paint job and an update. The apothecary jar with vitamins on it for 99 cents, no lid, but I'll hunt for one. And a couple of random glass items. I found a black book, this adorable little, brass piece has some great patina and design. I found a tiny little broom for 75 cents and then a larger broom. I thought this one would be great for Halloween or fall. This mossy decor ball it was only 50 cents so I picked it up and this was in the office supplies with the cork boards but it's a yoga block and that's a really nice one for four dollars. This lamp lantern $12.99. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to keep that. I don't know, we'll see. This basket wasn't priced, so I asked. Only $2.99, they're amazing over there. If you're in Topeka, make sure you stop by the Giving Tree. I picked up all three of these random salt pepper shakers, but I thought they looked really nice together as a little collection. This faux mossy planter was only 99 cents. I can do a fun DIY with that vintage ice cream scoop. I know we're kind of moving out of summer, but I really like this one. I've never seen it with the white plastic. Can't pass up a unicorn item, especially for, oh. I thought that said at 99 cents, 4.99. <laughs> Oopsies, well, hopefully somebody will love that. And then this little brass piece, $1.99. I love the little butterflies. So that was an oops, but you know what? It happens. And honestly, all of the stuff I got today goes really well with all the stuff I already have. So I have an amazing little collection. This stuff will be on this Saturday's haul at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time over on my main channel. Let me know what your favorite item is down in the comment section below. If y'all enjoyed this little hangout and shop with me, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and send this video over to a friend who hasn't discovered my lifestyle channel quite yet. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. I will be back to normal footage very soon. Love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. And bye, friends.